right, so we want to solve um, two uh, linear equations. Okay, so um, again, we want to um, just kind of we'll we'll look at this algebraically. Although I'm not really expecting you to uh, uh, do it algebraically, I, I think uh, Desmos will do it just fine. But but just to be complete, um, now if if they're in uh, model form then uh, typically what we would see is something like y equal you know 3x plus 2 and then our, a second model y equal um, uh, we'll say 4x minus uh, 1 and um, so suppose we have these two models and we would like to know uh, when um, is there a point that satisfies both models, an x and a y value that works in both of these uh, models. Well, what you can do is, uh, if they're in this form, you could think of it as substitution. Right? I have y equals 3x plus 2, but I also have y equals 4x minus 1. Just put, say, this y in for that one, and you end up with 4x minus 1 equals 3x plus 2. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, and now we can just use our uh, our skills in solving algebraic equations. Um, so what I do is I'll add one to both sides of the equations, and I'll get 4x equals 3x plus 3, and then I'll subtract 3x from both sides of the equation and get x equals 3. So there's my x value, and then I can go back here and choose either one of these uh, to figure out my y value. And so y is uh, 3 times uh, 3 plus 2. Right? That's, I'm using this one. And um, that's 11. And so an xy that fits both models is um, 311. Okay, I need to pause this. Okay, so that was, you know, if, if we've got them in this form, that might be the easiest way to solve it algebraically because we can, you know, in essence, we're setting this side equal to that side, you know, um, uh, because they're both y. Now, another possibility is that you may have set up your models more as constraints. So we had something like, um, we had an S1, I think the number of um, staff at location one plus S2 is equal to 10. So that was the constraint that we said, well, we need 10 staff. But then we also, I think, had a budget constraint and, um, uh, or no, that was 20. I think I had 20. So we'll you leave it at 20. Um, and then, uh, and I don't remember the numbers for sure, but, you know, we might have some sort of budget constraint and it was, you know, something like 60 S1 uh, plus 40 S2 and uh, 
my total budget was um, uh, a million. That was sixty thousand, forty thousand, and then a million would be a thousand thousand. Okay, so you may have something like this, um, in which case another technique. I mean, you know, so we can see all this. Another technique might be easier. So if I've got things set up like this, um, what I can do is uh, I can say multiply through one of the equations or both by some number on both sides. Because again, remember if I multiply an equation on both sides by the same number, I, I haven't messed up the equality. Uh, and so what I might do is, since I have 40s2 here, um, I'm going to multiply through this first equation by minus 40. So I'm going to take minus 40 times that s1 plus s2, but I'm going to do it on the other side as well, so minus 40 times 20. And that makes minus 40 S1 plus minus 40 S2 equals minus 800. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite that equation. So 60 S1 plus 40 S2 equals 1000. And now notice that if I just look at these two equations, now, remember an equation says that this side is equal to that side. So this side up here is 800, or minus 800. This side over here then is also minus 800. It looks very funny for minus 800, but it's still the number minus 800. And I can add minus 800 to both sides of this equation. So that's what I do. But what it looks like is I take the 60s1 plus 40s2 equals 1,000. And I subtract 40s1, subtract 40s2, and subtract 800 and I'm subtracting the same amount from both sides. When I do that, what happens, see, is that disappears, and I get 20s1 is equal to 200. Now I can divide both sides by 20, and I get s1 equals 10, but then going back to any one of these equations, this one would be the easiest. If S1 is 10, that says 10 plus S2 is equal to 20. Subtract 10 from both sides, and I get S2 is equal to 10. So S1 is 10, S2 is 10. And that's... Uh, that's um, another way to solve two equations, two unknowns. Um, you know, and those things just take practice. Now, don't get all worked up about it. Uh, I'm actually not worried about you solving them algebraically. We'll do another video to look at solving them uh, uh, graphically using decimals, okay? And that's all we're going to need to do. Um, however, if you want to do more algebra, more with algebra, these are this is a way we can do it that way. Okay, so we'll call that one done, and we'll move on to graphical solutions.